First things first, time to go fishing. I hope to get some, some eels. Some eels? Yeah, a conger eel. We have big conger eels here. Of course, David wants to go fishing for conger eels. They're powerful and enormous, just like David's competitive Croatian spirit. Is that yours? Yes, yes, it's wow. my beauty. That is a beautiful boat. Thank you. All right, I'm so excited, honestly. Yeah, you're not going to fishing for my sailing boat. What? I'm going to fishing for my sailing boat. You're going to fishing with my father. Stop it. In that dinghy? Yeah, it's a traditional way of fishing. Yeah, but hold on a minute. How nah, about... This is for joy, but fun. Let's talk about comfortable first. <laughs> Is that really your father? Yeah. Good morning. Welcome. Good to see you. Are you serious? We're going fishing yes. in that? Yes. There's me thinking we're on this beautiful, glamorous sailboat that belongs to Davide and his family, but no. <laughs> he wants me to become Croatian quickly. Should we set sail or set sink? People told me Croatia was like Italy but none of my vacations on the Malfi coast had me fishing in a boat not much bigger than a bathtub. David's dad set a line of baited hooks at dawn to hopefully catch a conger eel. Just be careful for the hooks. Big hooks. Be very careful. It's a dangerous thing. This line has 100 hooks set three meters apart. Big hooks. Grab the wrong spot, and you've gone from fisherman to catch of the day. A little bend on your knees so it will be yeah. easier. Gotcha. It's a workout and a half. Yep. It's good for your shoulders. Oh, there's one on there. Hmm? There's one on there. Yeah? It's a big one. Yes. When you start feeling that tug, all of a sudden, it's an indication there's a conga. That's heavy on there. Pick it up. Pick it up. Good feeling. Wow. Muzabra. That's a big one. I'm talking about a girth of your knee. I mean, they're thick and they're strong and they're powerful. There's another, another one. There's another one down there. Oh. Yes, yeah. it's a big one. It's a big one. <laughs> Good feeling. Oh, that is my hoosie. There's one more on here. What the f is under there? The tug of a conger eel with a hand line is huge. You can really feel that thing fighting you. Mm. That's heavy on there. There is that adrenaline, because you're pulling like mad, and you can feel it tug, tug, tug. There she comes. He's coming. It's tugging like mad. This line isn't budging. David says eels here can weigh nearly 30 pounds, which is much bigger than anything I've pulled in so far. That is massive. It's a big one. Woo! Wow. That is a beauty. Size of that thing. After my Croatian CrossFit workout, I'm definitely ready for a break. Uh, I just hope my arms have enough strength left to lift the eel from my plate to my mouth. We made some conger eel uh, pate. Mm. It's silky wow. and very tasty, a little bit buttery. Mm. I had no idea it can be finessed to that level of a pate. It's really good. Our limit in the, in the kitchen, you know, it's all in our, our heads. An amazing start to my journey, let me tell you. I'll come back at the end of the week and we'll cook together. Yeah. I'll give you a run for your money. Thank you. <laughs> now, can you get me off this bloody boat? <laughs> I never thought a con grill could set the bar. Based on the flavor of that pate, I think this guy's got other tricks up his sleeve. This is going to be a tough final cook. 